Hey, you might have a concussion. I might. You might have a concussion. <laughs> Get ahead of mind. You to uh, play your part if he's like. Uh, it appears you have some some news over there. Yes, that you found according out? to the uh, the internets. Uh, basically, it's reported now that, and according to Tim McMahon, that apparently Nico Harrison, we've moved to advanced stages. So yep. uh, it is very, very moving likely. Forward. Move so forward. Moving forward. Move forward. Nico forward. Harrison, former Nike VP guy, Nike guy. You know, he helped Kobe. He's uh, helped uh, plenty of people. Strong relationships in the organization. He will be in tandem with Michael Finley. There's a relation. They, they envision a relationship where they're working in tandem. Finley and Harrison, Harrison and Finley. Uh, and of course, both have strong ties. Oh, sorry, Bobby V. Where's shadow it? Bob's still there. Where's uh, Bobby V? Oh, Shadow Bob's still there. Yeah, he's Bobby in the v. shadows like he likes to be because he's a creature and he's ruined. The, he has poisoned Mark Cuban's mind. I still contend with that. He, but who knows? Maybe this will all work out. I'm trying to be a positive guy right now. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be positive. Well, right now the Phoenix Suns are taking on the uh, L.A. Clippers, and looks like the Clippers are out in front by three. Chris Paul is back on the court tonight um, after surviving. Surviving COVID? Yeah, surviving COVID. That, that, Which is really interesting because he got the vaccine and he still got it. Well, see, that's the thing. We were going off one source off that. Then other people are saying that's not the case. See, the Chris Paul thing needs to be investigated. It does. Because we have not really heard anything. And the NBA decided not to give us any information. So something fishy is going on with Chris Paul. Uh, I think uh, there's some lying going around. What do, you, what do you mean? I think someone's lying about whether or not he got something. Because I don't know what's going on. This makes no sense. But we'll see. They need to investigate. But regardless, Mr. Chris Paul is back in action. And hopefully, and, and, and good kudos to Chris Paul. His first conference finals appearance. playing. Yeah, I, w I, I was wanting him to hold him out until the finals. I was like, because we got this. I was like, I don't want anything to deter him from getting Oh, you think, uh, listen. I don't want him to get, like, hurt or something uh, with an ankle or an arm or something like that. No, That's be, what I was hoping. He'll be fine. He'll get in there. He's going to go to the uh, He's most likely going to the NBA Finals because the Clippers got nothing. I wouldn't say the Clippers don't have anything. Well, they got the they got the, they got the Phoenix Suns right where they want them. You know, down. Uh, oh, that's true. Down 0-2. That's how they like to play. Yeah, that's, that's how they like to play front running. You know, guys like me, we like to front run. Right, you know, right. Okay. Just stuff like that. Uh, but uh, give a Phoenix, uh, uh, DeAndre Ayton, and uh, Jay Crowder, your guy, because a lot of people don't give him his uh, due on this play, but that alley-oop to pretty much win the game was probably one of the best that's playoff. That's probably one of the best plays in, 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 in playoff, playoff history. Yeah, uh, that was insane. <laughs> I think that's going to go down in history. So props to them. What a fucking – by the way, these former playoffs – Make sure you put former Dallas Maverick, Jay Crowder. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. yeah. Make sure you throw that out there because, you know, you guys didn't want him here. <laughs> you wanted to get Rondo. Because he turned into such a stud. Yeah, I mean, he went to the All-Star game the next year no, in Boston. Ooh, well, game. it must be because you guys oh, like oh. you guys like to say, uh, well, this guy, he ain't made an All-Star game ever. And it's like, well, idiot fans choose to go to the uh, All-Star game anyway. So well, I don't know how we hold like, that against people. But no, um, I will say this. This playoffs have been very entertaining. Yeah, very, very. They are the, probably the best I've seen in the future. Well, the, the thing is, is that we're getting ready to see something new. We're not about to see the same, um, the same thing over and over. It's, it's not like, gonna be LeBron or Steph Curry. It's not gonna be LeBron or Steph Curry. It's not gonna be LeBron. Period. Uh, that hurts you a little bit. It, it doesn't. You know, I think the I think the league need, needed something. It needs a, it, need, it needed it needed this. You needed a break free because you know people are gonna start to get stagnant with it and be like, okay, and then it starts getting boring seeing the same old teams over and over again. So finally, we're getting fresh breath here. And the fact of the matter is, the final four are all four teams have not been have either haven't won a championship in over 30, 40 years or have never been to uh, won a championship. Right. That is progress where we're going to the point where getting new teams, new blood. Because eventually, if you just got the same old teams going, all these other franchises start to fail. And then there's contraction and you might reduce the teams. It's not a good look for the NBA. This is a, this is good news right now. Yes, it is. Um, Phoenix Suns, um, Clipper series. I like to do, I like this series. Uh, I think it's pretty fun. I wish, I wish Kawhi was here. Uh, to play, but he's not. But you know, I, I've always been a De Devin Booker fan. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked him in college when he was at Kentucky. Um, I just like Devin Booker's game. I've always been a fan of it. You know, I heard the the Kobe comparison uh, the other day. That's a little strong, but I can see I can see how you could draw. He could draw a line on that. Um, 
you can see it, but yeah, I think also think it's a little too strong. I think we're just throwing up superlatives, you know, superlatives, whatever the word is, uh, towards players. Remember, right you now. got that concussion. Don't hurt yourself thinking right? too hard. Uh, uh, today's going to be a tough struggle. <laughs> 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 um, I, I don't understand the. That's a little too strong, but Devin Booker. It's it's it it is and it isn't. You know his get his game. Basically, what he's trying to say his takeover mentality. Right, right. Yeah, Maybe that's you can say true. that, but he's not Kobe. But not a lot of people are. <laughs> he was one of a kind. Uh, but Devin Booker really has shown. Well, actually, he was two of a kind because you know he was another Michael Jordan clone. Oh, well, can we just disrespect Kobe? No, I'm not disrespecting. I'm just saying like he was a he was yeah. Uh, but Devin Booker to me has really elevated and progressed as well. I mean, this year I've seen, a, and maybe Chris Paul has something to do with it. Maybe Chris Paul unlocked a portion of that game to where he can get to that next level. But uh, props to, and you've mentioned this before countless times on your thing, count, the Phoenix Suns built uh, the right way with DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker. Uh, they're a fun team. I really like the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, I'm actually K rooting for Kendrick is right that he's not the defensive player as Kobe, but, you know, who right. plays defense in today's NBA? Nobody. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the, the way the Suns are playing, they're my team to win it. They're my rooting interest. Uh, I want them to win. Yeah, I think I had automatically took the Suns when uh, before the playoffs start. I said the Suns probably gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah. Before LeBron. Well, got... no, no, because I knew I, when they got the the Lakers in the first round. I I, I said it. even Brown Town, me, Brad Townsend, and, and Chuck had a uh, conversation. I said LeBron is too hurt mm -hmm. to uh, to pull something off, and without AD, you know, there there's no chance. They right. don't have a chance. And I said LeBron can't do it by he's he doesn't have that in him right now to bring him back. And, and, and I said, and I told him, I said, whoever comes out of this Lakers Phoenix series is going to the finals. Well, you're right there because well, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. Right now, right now, again, the Clippers got them right where they want them. Two and zero. Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry, but the, it's Suns and four. And they're losing right now. That, that guy, 30, that 33, guy. 29. Okay, well, that's not that bad. It's not like it's a double digit loss right now. Listen, Suns and four. That's what's gonna happen. All right. That, just like that guy who got tickets for it. I'm trying to get see y'all put see now y'all jinxing. All right, well we just got a turnover right there. I just like the way they they the, the Phoenix Suns play like everybody touches the basketball, you know. Um they run, they play hard, they they they, they play fast, they get after it, and you know, whenever they need to slow the day, slow the game down, they got two guys that, that can control the moment. They do and Devin Booker and uh and Chris Paul. That's what I love about them. And that's one reason why I think the Chris Paul thing was helpful for them because now he stabilized that organization. He got that veteran presence in there to be like, hey guys. And they were already and they were already on the, the come the, up uh, yeah. after the in the bubble. I mean the bubble they 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 won like what eight straight? Yeah. So yeah. he's the, the final piece right. to make them go to the next level. I wonder if the is Chris Paul a free agent after this season? He he is. Well, well he can decline he declined his option. So he is gonna be a free yeah, agent. Yeah, so, so he can be a free agent. But you know the question is: Is does he come? Does he come back? I mean, if I was Chris Paul, if I Chris Paul and I win the championship, I would, I would come back. You wouldn't? I would. Okay, I would. Oh, you well. know, and I heard Magic being Magic. You know, Magic being Magic. Uh, right now, that's what they want Dirk to be. You know, go out here and do all the interviews and you know talk and stuff like that. Um, he was trying to say that if Chris Paul wanted to come to L.A. They would. Uh, well, they would love it. buddy yeah. buddy with uh, yeah. LeBron. But, you know, but see, they're they're. You know what I'm noticing about the NBA too? These super teams, they're not mattering anymore. Because I don't know about that. They aren't because you can have you can have all you can have all that or whatever. But as you watch like Atlanta in in Phoenix, Chris Paul for no he missed it. Um the, their lineup with the small with the small lineup, it's kind of hard to guard that. Um, true, but and you, Gavin Dawson has been been saying uh, on the uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, he's been saying about the uh, big man about the you know not being uh, a, a portion of the offense anymore. He, he's pretty much right because when you look at it, Devin I mean not Devin Booker, DeAndre Ayton and John Collins right now are tearing it up right now, and those guys are under seven feet because it's hard. For a seven footer to guard somebody that that quick and athletic, no doubt about it. But my also my counterpoint to that is that if you got three talented, like for instance, Brooklyn Nets, if they were healthy, would have. They're never going to be healthy though. 
Well, I understand. I said if, but don't, they got like injury prone guys. Right. I'm saying this, <laughs> but if you were to have like three superstars on a team, you're not gonna be able to beat that. That's Kyrie has win. only had one what one playoff since he left. Has there only been one playoff since he left. Uh, no, 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 and then one playoff they, that he wasn't in. They went to the Eastern Conference Final True. without him. But my point being is that I'm, I'm just using them for an example. I'm saying is that healthy three healthy superstar super team was still gonna run shot over the league. It's just gonna happen. That there's no way around it. Talent is going to win. Well, out. the problem is the talent talent will win, but at the same time, um, it comes down to like say in the playoffs, the game slows down. So if you don't have any presence around in that in that when the game slows, you got somebody to throw the ball to. You can have hell the the, the what's name found that out the first year they got to get in Miami, right? What what did Dirk and them do? They they beat them up beat them up in paint, right? But what happened the next? two se seasons they dominated the only time the last time they got it is because the spurs had a well a, okay a, a, first year they got a they had a they played a young uh okc team the first that was year. very good that was a very good team I know, but they were very young though they were very young i think the still made i the think Kendrick perkins might have been the oldest person on that team right right all right then the next year what they get they got the spurs mm -hmm. did they get the spurs yeah the spurs they played spurs back to back right okay so the spurs, they beat the spurs and then the spurs beat them in 2014 with Kawhi uh, Leonard, I think, winning the MVP that year, the finals MVP. So they won two championships, man. I thought they won Not three. Miami won two. Yeah, okay, so they won LeBron's two. LeBron's only won four. Okay, yeah. So you won two. Yeah. And then, right, because uh, that last year, man, uh, San Antonio beat the doors off of uh, the, the uh, Heat that year. Yeah, but they also, it was still a, it was a, they, it was no, a series. No, no, that series was, they were, that one game when, uh, when he had them cramps, well, they were beating the living that hell is, out of them. I know, but the, the, uh, that was – but for the rest I think of the they only won one game. They didn't lose in five. They went in at least six. I don't remember them going that long, but it wasn't It wasn't as close. No, as, no, no, it didn't feel like it was. Yeah, it, it wasn't as close as the, uh, as the, as the last but, series. But, but, and then, of course, you look at the Warriors. The Warriors dominated when they had their super team. But, okay, but the door, the Warriors different. They shot. They shot their way to a championship, like, every, every year. Like, But, but they had – I mean, and even still, though, they had paint, they had paint players, though. Right. And the only reason why, the, and I'm telling you right now, the only reason why the Raptors won their championship against the Warriors is because the Warriors were just decimated by the time they got to the finals by injuries. So there's two things that's going to stop you, talent and injuries. It's just the way, it's just the, way the, the, the game is going. It's the way you construct your roster these days. Now, the thing is now is that when you go get all three players on one team, you don't have enough. You don't have anything off the bench, like like Charles Barkley was saying. Like they're not good defensively. No, uh, they give up too many points. Just thinking you're just gonna outscore everybody ain't gonna work. That's why I think a lot of the Nets front office people are thinking, let's trade Kyrie. You're gonna have to trade Kyrie and because then get back he, some role players. And, and it, it was a it was a one it was a one and done deal. It was if we win the championship, then yeah. But if we don't, it no. Like, and then you know he he had too many he had too many. Uh, I would not keep him. For one, he's always injured. You know, you know, I gotta, I gotta worry about him leaving the, leaving the team to go do something else. That's fine if you want to do that. Right. Then I have to worry about uh, in the playoffs. Once again, he's hurt. He's yeah. not here. Um, it is funny because isn't Kyrie the one who's trying to get Durant to come to the Nets? <laughs> that, I mean, and now that, they're kicking him out. But you, you knew that was coming. I know. It's just funny though. I knew Kim Walker was going when he didn't play when he didn't play in the last couple of games in the uh, play. He's about to leave too again from Oklahoma City. I mean, they probably will trade. Him. Listen, Oklahoma City ain't doing nothing but stocking draft draft picks Listen, right now. Okay, here's the thing, and I get your point. That it is a smart stock draft picks, and Sam Presti is looking smart right now. With but it's that. not just about stockpiling. But he got it. He got to get players. You're getting. You're league. you're getting. You're able to go to somebody and say, hey. I can go to Toronto and say, hey, you want Pascal Siakam? Hey, I can give you four number one draft picks. Right, right, right. I get but that. But that aren't even mine. Right, all right. <laughs> no, 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 that's true. My point is that he just hasn't made moves yet with them. But that's what I'm saying. He doesn't. Said, eventually, you got to put he, a he, he's, the floor. And he's going to. But right right now, you know, like I said, he, he's building through the draft. No, no doubt about it. Because they just, got, they just got, uh, well, the Clippers dra drafted Gilbert Alexander. But he got Gilbert Alexander. Now what they got a high pick this year, but they they got to start making their picks. They are going to start making their picks. That's what I'm saying. Like he he's drafting. No no, yeah, he's drafting. I, so I, after I'm, a while, I'm all for it. After a while, he might. But last year he had Chris Paul. Yeah, and he, he traded. They traded for Chris Paul. And what they were like the fifth seed last he, year. He was probably like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, because remember they were trying. Remember they were in the, the Mavericks were in the trade with them, 
for Drogic, and he was supposed to go to the Heat, mm -hmm. and all that fell through, and he ended up keeping Chris Paul, and they ended up going to the fifth seed. He was like, damn. Sam Presti's like me and uh, Madden trying to like get the low high number one pick, trying to suck it at the beginning of the year. And he, I mean, he's really, he's really nice. He's just stockpiling right now. I'll say this: Sam Presti probably one of the best GMs under. Like, he doesn't get enough credit. He is it because because he he's smart enough to know <coughs> free agents are coming here. It, yeah, it's a terrible city. It's, it's it, it. The only way I'm going to get people here is through a trade. And if I get him here through a trade, you know. I'll have him like Paul Paul uh, George. I'll have him here for like a year or two and mellow in them. It's unfortunate because his best team that he built didn't get to win a championship. He only got to one final and they couldn't win. Right, and then and James Harden left the next year. Exactly. And, and then OK3 happened with trades, mm -hmm. through trades. Um, Let's look over now to the East Eastern Conference. Yeah, this, is, right. this is a good uh, series. I'm right sorry here. that Tovash is late for this because he, he'd probably need to hide his pants. I need to put my, need to put my jacket on when I talk about this. Tovash needs to hide. I just get the shiver every time I talk. Every time I watch this man shoot the ball, they call I call him the, the Iceman. That's well, like the Iceman. You might get shiver. Tovash gets hot under the collar <laughs> uh, for this guy. He this guy he gets a little too into. You ought to quit. Uh, but Trey Young and the Atlanta Hawks are shocking the NBA world as they go up one nothing in the Eastern Conference Finals over Milwaukee and the Giannis it's, Greek Freak. It is a bad matchup for the Milwaukee Bucks in a playoff series because they're too small. And Brooke Lopez, he's probably not going to be on the floor this series because he can't hang with John Collins. John mm -hmm. Collins is too athletic and too fast for him. They try to put Clinton Portis on uh, – on um, yeah, John Collins. John Collins is too athletic. He can't. Clinton Porter's can't jump with uh, can't jump with John Collins. And if, if need be, John Collins can pull you out to the three point line and and shoot on you. You know what's funny? If you know, you keep saying. I, 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 and then quick, what Clint Porter had like nineteen rebounds yeah. last night. Um, so isn't it funny that every year we keep hearing bad matchup for the the Bucks? It's a bad matchup, like. Are we getting to the point where the Bucks just need to just start it over? Uh oh. Oh wow. Just yeah. just, just in time. Just too. in time. Just in time. You he heard forward. he heard about his guy and he's like, I gotta be here for it. Well, I gotta hear, well I gotta this is a rare treat right here. He came here early because he's tired. He's tired of everything that's going on around here. No, he he's getting he got turned on by the when we talked about that that guy. No, well he he up. listen, this guy here, he's very upset. But before we before we talk about why yeah. he's upset, we got a we got a promo. We got to cut his promo right. for him. Cause join us in the studio right now. You seen him out? Uh, what was that Boomer Jacks last Tuesday when we were uh, we were doing a show on stream? He was in the parking, parking lot doing parking lot pimping. <laughs> 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 he's at Tobosh Ten on Twitter. Get over there and follow him. They talk about guys, sports, and porn, and how they hate Jason Kidd <laughs> uh, being the head coach of the Dallas Mavericks. Man, how you doing today? How we doing, guys? Am I hot? Am I hot? Yeah, yeah. you're hot. Thanks. On the mic. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> I've been working out a little bit. No, I'm pushing. Um, what's going on? How's it going, man? You're not. I, we we saw you've denounced your uh, you've denounced your fan uh, my fandom. Yeah, to my the Mavericks uh, Dallas fandom. Mavericks. Yeah, you ready man. to come back or what? So, is is it, is it official? Is the it's not official yet? But I well, mean, it's much... oh, there's another move that they made. Uh, Nico Harrison, most likely the be uh, one of the Nike guys, will be your new basketball uh, president of basketball. You officials. like Nike? You wear Nike all the time, don't you? Yeah, this shirt's a Nike. Yeah, there oh, you go. Nike shirt. Right? Well, that, that at least that's giving positive news. Yeah, so Nike is coming to Dallas. Yeah. yeah, you know the headquarters up in Portland. Maybe they might. Maybe after a while, they might like what's going on here in Dallas. They might move the outlet. I mean, the office here. So it's possible. Well, okay. So <clears throat> Nico Harris, uh huh, uh, head. The, so the, the president of uh, basketball operations. Yeah. Michael Finley remains as vice president. Well, from what we're hearing with Tim McMahon, they're going to work in tandem. He's like a general manager. So lockstep. All right. So is so is Nico Harris. Is he president? He's he's gonna be the vice he's no, gonna no, be president of operations. Oh, what, what do you look like? Uh, like well, it looks like uh, <laughs> I, thought he was, I thought he was like an EA. I thought uh, he was one of the EA guys. Well, you heard Nico, so what you so, <laughs> yeah. So he look like you? I thought he did. I thought he did to me. Know, I don't know what he looks like. Get on Twitter, hit me up uh, <laughs> at Tovice Ten and let me uh see a picture of this guy. All right, no, but seriously though, um, why am I holding this like it's... I don't know why you're doing that, but go ahead, because I got to read this you, comment you here. cleanse your soul from the... <laughs> hand sanitizer, America. They no. didn't pay for that. So, okay. I I jokingly said about, you know, that whole Spurs thing. Uh, you know what? If they, if they hire Jason Kidd, then I'm going to San Antonio and be a Spurs fan. I mean, I'm a low-key closet Spurs fan anyway, because I like uh, the greatness of one Greg Popovich. 
Um, he might be next. But and then of course Becky Hammond too. That's my girl. But what what I don't like, I don't like all this Jason Kidd hoopla. Be- Jason Kidd. Okay. Good. Remember, I, remember I said that, I'm about to tell you. Remember I, you kept asking me who's, who should be the next head coach, and I said it should be Jason Kidd. But why? Because that was, I mean, that's the closest ties to Dallas. You know, he's a coach. Listen, uh, Damian Lillard wants to play for him. Maybe Damian Lillard doesn't want to play for him. Maybe he comes to Dallas. Okay. Come on, Dame. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to be in Dallas, I mean, you, you know, I mean, cool. I'll, I'll take it. I just don't want. Have y'all not seen what Jason Kidd has done as a coach in the Eastern Conference? But, but let's take, but I was just telling him, let's think about this though. He he did that in the Eastern Conference and he took 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 a step back and said, I'll go learn how to be a better head coach and then I'll go out and be a head coach. You remember that time where uh where he was over there holding the water bottle? Yeah. And he told his player to hit him. <laughs> yeah. And he cause he was stepping Jason Kidd was on the court kind he was like, hit me, hit yeah. me, hit me. And he stuck, he stuck his leg out, and he got hit, and it was a technical foul. Yeah, he's a he's a basketball robot. Okay. okay, he may be the smartest person to ever touch a basketball. His IQ is off the charts. He's almost like uh, Peyton Manning is almost like Boris Dial type IQ. And yeah, you bring that to the game, but that was some player shit. A- as a coach, great players really trying to be horrible coaches and it's it's because you know they but carlisle was a player he won championship. he wasn't a great player okay he was drafted uh he was in a michael jordan draft yes but like jason Kidd was a great player he may be top three best point guards of all time Monty so Williams was a player he played for the spurs he wasn't great okay he's trying to say a great player great i'm talking about i'm talking about great generational type talent like michael jordan sucks at being a gentleman <laughs> like like that okay kobe couldn't be a uh, he couldn't be a coach right I'm sorry right J- terry can yeah he remember he i saw him say he would he would 100 percent uh feel like he could he could coach the dallas Mavericks today right J- yeah terry can but yeah like but and and then and then i go, I go back and look at, at jason kidd's record as just an eastern conference coach and i'm going man he got some talent to okay. go up against okay. in well, the West. Well, let, like, let, that's going to be tough to well, win let, games. Well, let's, let's, let's map this out. I just bought this up with EA. I said, EA. Now, when he was with Brooklyn, he got the head coach a job because they were bringing in the Brooklyn Nets. And, you know, that was the Brooklyn Nets' first year. He had, what, old Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Darren Williams. Uh, when they made that trade from Boston uh, with Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. All right? So, he had that deal. So, of course, that was never going to – I never thought the Brooklyn Nets was going to be – that whole team was good anyway. Right. Never thought that team was good. I was like, is they too old at this point? There's no point in, in doing that. And then he goes to Milwaukee. I, I, we were trying to remember, was Giannis there yet? I know Chris Middleton was. No, Giannis was there. Okay. It was a young Giannis. Okay, but, yeah, but he's, a, he's, and people he's like that. a point guard's coach. Why is a point guard coach teaching a seven-footer to play basketball? I mean, how's he going to coach? How's he going to coach? Basketball to a seven footer. Why must it have to have to be a positional? Yeah, type if you're coach? a head coach, shouldn't you like? You should there? be, but uh, but he's a his, his point his his mentality is point guard. And that's where we're gonna fail. But that's, but I'm saying he has a guy who is a point guard here. I, that's fine. Here's the thing. So this would kind of uh, we'll get into this, I guess. Um, I guess we're gonna get into it now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> might as well. Point of beating around the bush. Uh, uh, so Rick Carlisle on his way out. By the way, congratulations to Carlisle. In the head coaching job over at Walt's favorite team. Right now. Does that mean? Does that mean he's back with uh, Coach uh, Canales? I haven't talked to Coach Canales today. Um, I was going to save it. Okay. Uh, Coach Canales, of course, um, my best friend, and he's my been he's been circling around the uh, the NBA for like the last like 12, 13 years. Which I hope is, he likes my uh, Pacers polo. War especially. It's, it's fly. Yeah, I just favored your picture right there. Good, right good. Yeah, I'm glad you did that because you oh, know you know good. me hashtag front running had this front running today, but. But uh, Caleb was underneath uh, pause, but he was under Rick mm-hmm. for five years here in Dallas. So hopefully, the, you know, the Pacers um, front office can retain, you know, assistant coaches. Or if Rick goes, you were just here last year, come on back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I haven't talked to Caleb. I'm pretty sure he's probably watching. Up, but uh, um, I'll, I'll hit him up. I'll hit him up later and ask him you know, about all that. But uh, as he was leaving – Dallas, he talked to Tim McMahon and he said, you know who I think would be the great head coach with Dallas Mavericks? Jason Kidd. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Well, hey, okay, so but then it doesn't you find it fishy that as soon as he says that, all of a sudden Mavericks are in advanced negotiations with Jason Kidd. Advanced. 
I mean, hey, J J Jamal Mosley, poor guy. He just went from front hunter to looking for a job right now within two seconds. I don't know what I Mark Cuban. This might all work out. Like I said, this all. I told you out. he's gonna be a genius or he's gonna right. be the dumbass. But they're going like you know. Remember order of operations in math, PEMDAS. I don't think Mark Cuban knew how, knows how to do that because the. Well, going but way it, out of it's order. actually smart on Mark Cuban's behalf the way he did it. You go get a player friendly coach that everybody likes and bring in here, and you go get somebody that's connected in the NBA to be. Vice President right. of Operations. That's actually that, a smart move. The Nico thing to me is the smartest move Mark Cuban has made since this entire thing. Because no, no the smartest move he did was getting rid of Donnie and, and oh, letting well, Rick. You know what I mean? I've said since the firings. I'm right. Saying, Nico Harrison to me is a smart move because that is you're, you you want to build around Luca. The biggest problem for the Mavericks is we cannot recruit here. That's the biggest problem. Right. With the because Mavericks. let's be honest, Donnie doesn't have any any connections to uh, the younger players. Not even younger players to anybody in the NBA except European players. Right. Right. So aside from Euro players we can't bring in the nba talent right nico harrison is kobe's guy he is everybody's guy he is the guy who brings in the superstars to nike that guy is connected and i will say this there is only one negative to that what does he have the experience to be a quote-unquote general manager well, that's what that's where that's where michael finley i comes guess in so in. and they have to work together and hopefully they work together well and hopefully shadow bob is dead somewhere out of the picture bobby v's still here uh, bobby v's i just hope anywhere. he's gone the analytics the, the analytics are still here you're gonna, light, you're gonna work like, side by side with Jason. But, but my point is if nico can handle that part of it and if he can learn that part of it and it works well then i think that's a great addition the only problem is is the how well Jason Kidd is going to be head coach. Uh, and we're not going to bring up the domestic violence thing because that's kind of popping up too. But well, Jason Kidd? Uh, yeah, that's been popping up too. Man, listen. I already Every, spoke on that. Uh, okay. Nobody, I, was like, I was like, ain't no one nobody complained a couple weeks ago when they were celebrating right, the championship right. run. Just, right. And he, I ain't heard not one time during the championship run. Just, just it's, I'm pointing out it is popping up. And again, if you like Chris Brown or you like Mike Tyson, don't come at me talking about some domestic violence. Uh, with, with Jason Kidd. Well, I ain't trying more to hear it. How I get it in this? How did I get it in this? I'm Mike Tyson. I'm how just saying, if you if you like right. domestic violence that much, if you're that concerned about my, it. My thing is, the cool the kid thing is, this screams, hey, let's go get that 2011 title. Although, it, it is not, although I will agree, it is not a good look for somebody who just had a sexual and, uh, and deal the, situation. And Probably a domestic good, violence thing. I, I, I'm telling y'all right now, this to me, this reeks of this. This reeks of it's desperation. <laughs> it, not just desperation, but hey, we want to look like we want to look like the Nets um, of the South. We want to be. We want to have a whole roster full of names. Right. We want to have a whole roster full of familiar faces. Um, even Dirk jumped into the fray. And oh, now I see people killing Dirk uh, on Twitter. Oh, this is BS. Dirk signed up for this. I can't believe Dirk agreed to be on this. This they just bought him to be a puppet. Well. Everybody's gonna be a puppet to Mark and um. And right. Bobby. I mean, I was like, when you when they when you said when they said Dirk and Whiskey was gonna be hired, what do you think he was gonna be? He's hired to be a yes or a no man. That's what the that's what that advisory role is. Mm -hmm. When you hire somebody, uh, I'll, again, I don't think Nico's gonna be a yes man. I think he's gonna actually have some power. Now, of course, Cuban has the ultimate say, but I think Cuban's gonna lean in on Nico's experience. Well. Uh, I guess we still trying to decide if Cuban even really even deals with the team because you know he's off doing other things and what we try to figure. That's out. That's so, what you hope. So I hope Cuban, so, please sign up ten more seasons of Shark Tank. Get in there. <laughs> that's a, that, that's one good reason though that I think that Dirk is here and and with Finley is because when when Cuban and Shark Tank is on the West Coast, you know then you know you got two uh, re reliable people that can can do it. However, however. I'm going to need that Bobby dude to get out the way because what's going to happen is you, you, maybe him and Dirk clash, and then Dirk goes, well, obviously, you know, he's not going to well, be no, doing be this and doing this. So then, then he going to call Jessica up and say, let's go to Kenny or something. Like, because no, I'm not, no, no, no. Like, like it's going to be it. that quick. Dirk doesn't take shit when it comes to other people trying to tell him what to do. We need, we got we, the, the analytics. I don't know what's going to happen with the analytics, but like I told you, if Bobby V is not employed by the uh, – Mavericks, trust me, Cuban will have him somewhere stashed away, getting his analytics, feeding it to the team. Well, I just Bobby V is not going away. I just don't want Bobby V to have the same power he had. Oh, I don't think he's gonna have that with Nico around. Oh, I don't Nico ain't either. Nico ain't ain't becoming uh, uh operations whatever to be be told by what I tell you the other night. A thousand dollar man can't tell a million dollar man what to do. It just ain't gonna happen. I do hope one thing though. I hope that, and I'm pretty sure he's watching. I'm hoping that you, Luca. I'm hoping that you signed off on this because if you didn't, 
and all of these backdoor interlining thing things are working, um, and he has no say in it, then that say he takes him early. That tells me though, but that tells me that they really don't give a fuck about you because they feel like they feel like they can go build everything else up by themselves. And, 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 Cuban has Shark Tank, but, bro, but and saying, he no, makes the, moves but the dude, the, around Shark the, Tank. The, the general manager dude has a relationship with Luca, so he's tight with Luca already. I, I do have a question though. Don't you? There's one thing that has bothered me with this kid and Luca's relationship because I know Carlisle said that they would work well together. Okay, but remember Carlisle and Luca historically, we know they probably can't stand each other. Was well, that true? He texted him earlier. Remember? Okay. Sure, he texted him. We don't, uh, Luca probably had it on red. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably busy at a game or whatever. Uh, no, my point being, said he thanked him. They, they, those two, had butted heads a lot when they played here. What, co what, also, rookie coach, what and rookie also, player and coach okay, don't okay. butt heads? How about this? Carlisle and Jason Kidd historically butted heads as well, especially during the championship year. Um, so if you have. If you have those kind of things go on, don't you think Kid and Luca? No, who are both Rick, we know the common denominator on that is Rick Carlisle. Okay, Rick but, Carlisle on, is the common don't, denominator. Don't you think? Okay, but the idea is we brought this up. <clears throat> Their kid is like Rick Carlisle in a way is that he's a very okay, evil but, guy. But, but right? here's the thing, though. So, you, that's three think, point. That's four point guards that that didn't like Rick Carlisle when they were here. Fine. You got Jason Kidd. Not, you got no, uh, Rondo. No. You got uh, Luca. And uh, that's not my point. We get Dennis the, Smith. Well, that's fine. I get it. We, Carlos an asshole. We get that point. Mm -hmm. My point is Jason Kidd could be also an asshole, and Luka Doncic could be an asshole, and two assholes together don't work. That's I my point. I don't think you got that. I don't think Kidd. Luka and Kidd might not get along with each other because they're both alphas. Mm -hmm. Jason Kidd is an alpha. Okay, well that's but he needs that though. Who? Luka does. Well, then you had Carlisle. He was Carlisle was an alpha too. <laughs> no, Car Carlisle was. Carlisle was old and set in his ways. But he was an alpha. He is an alpha, but he's old and set in his way. He didn't want to change anything. You know what I'm starting to think, though? What? I'm starting to think it's, it could be Luca. It could be Luca. Of Luka. course it's Luca. That's the asshole. Of, all of course them. it's Luca. Right. So, I mean. So then, how are you going to get along with kids? So, we not, but we're not going to not hire people because Luca doesn't want them. No, no I get We got to stop. No, 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 we're not. Like Tom, no. I said, we're not going to give 20, a 22 year old kid the keys that fast. No, no not about to do that. get that. But okay, between the two hires, okay, Jamal Mosley and Jason Kidd, who would you rather? Okay, have? well, guess what? Guess what? He like Jamal Jamal Mosley now. Jamal Mosley could become the head coach, and then they start butting heads. He could eat him alive. He could eat him alive. So what? Which, which Luca Luca likes him because he's a player's coach. Right, he is, but that's different. It's different that that when uh, Jamal Mosley not the head coach, what? when he becomes the head coach, the things become a little different. Yeah. Can I ask you guys a question? Why is it okay for LeBron to do it then? LeBron do what? LeBron shot over his coaches. He got rid of every coach that he doesn't like. It's LeBron. Okay, so we not well, do we are we not putting Luka Doncic as a top five player in the NBA? LeBron, I look, am today, but I mean, but he has an accomplishment. He not LeBron's Le, he not LeBron, yeah. He not LeBron. LeBron was doing it before LeBron accomplished. LeBron anything. didn't. Le, well, when, not when, really. LeBron, LeBron left. Not LeBron, LeBron left. He left. LeBron, LeBron left. Did LeBron he, didn't what? start doing. What he did till he came back to Cleveland. Yeah, started dictating because he got the championship. He, he got the championship. He got the accomplished and all that stuff. So when he was in Miami, Pat, he tried to do that. Pat Riley, Pat Riley said, "Hell no!" Nah. That's yeah. why he left Miami because because Pat Riley wouldn't wouldn't let him wouldn't let him have his way. Yeah, I just hope we don't have a thing where Luca. Y'all, y'all gotta. St <laughs> what? 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 Stop! What? Say it! Say it! Stop being frustrated. Stop with this whole. We gotta do everything for Luca. I I'm get not it. Saying that. That's what you basically I, no, saying. No, no, no. I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I just hope this relationship works. It doesn't matter. Hey, listen, the, if the last one didn't work. Might as well. I don't okay, but he didn't have a choice on that one. He Luka really didn't. didn't. Luca didn't. Yeah, when he came, he was drafted by the Mavericks. He 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 was in into whatever was here. He maybe, didn't have a choice on that. Maybe the, maybe the Jason Kidd thing is a saving grace for Mark by doing that because uh, just like Jerry Jones, right? Like 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 he's becoming Jerry Jones now. We're, we're seeing this shit where he's putting the cart before the horse. You're going out and getting the head coach, and you're you know, you know, uh, you you pretty well. Well, he's pretty getting them out. The, the everything's coming room. together. Everything's coming together together now. I hope hopefully it does. Right. Um, if, if you name all those guys at the same exact freaking time, and then you have a press conference tomorrow at the AAC, good. Lie to me. Don't let me figure it out later that you hired kid and then you you know like then you start getting everybody else. Okay. So, but but also still let them like go to Luke and be like, hey bro, are you okay with this? I'm I know. Sure, uh, I'm pretty sure they talked to Luke. Yeah, I know you were kind of pissed off about uh, Rick leaving, but uh. Oh, you cool with it because we're still going in that same direction. We just need you to be cool with it. You will like Jason Kidd. That's what happened. Hey, Luca. What? I'm in Slovenia. 
Oh, we we doing these moves. All right, cool, bye. That's it. That's what happened. That, that, that's how Luca is yeah. too. He's like, cool, thanks. Um, yeah, I mean, but I'm just saying, like this whole. If Luca leaves, Luca leaves, bro. Like we're not, we're, uh, we're yeah, not. No, you don't want to. No. I know you don't want him to leave, but I'm like, it's not the end of the world. Like, yeah, it kind of will be. Yeah, it oh, will be. For that mean, franchise, that, it will be. It, it's not the end of the world. Where like you, yes, it will hurt. It will hurt the Mavericks. Yes, were, you weren't around. You wasn't see. He wasn't. What do you around. mean I wasn't around? You I lived through three J's. Before the three J's. Right. Okay. You, I was. You weren't around for that. I believe the nineties, the, the Mavericks were bad too. After after Jason Kidd left. No, 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 no. It was bad. It was. It was eighty nine Jerry Jones Cowboys bad, y'all. We're it was bad. We're gonna get to the point where we're gonna go back to the Dodge Chaparrales. <laughs> no, no. It was. It was. It was so bad that people really didn't give a shit about the Mavericks. Like, like they they really didn't. So from eighty eight, eighty nine, when they got to the West Finals. Um, when, like when Derek Harper fucked up uh, that that one game, mm -hmm. that was the last time they were good, right? right. Michael Guard left, and everybody started leaving and shit. Mm -hmm. And so basically, what happened is, bro, bro, from like, thought, from, but here's the thing though: we thought that we, oh, the Mavericks should not go find anybody after Derek. Bro, they almost, bro, they almost be became dust, right? They, like Thanos well, almost snapped his fingers on them. Time on, time on, So you're trying to say, oh, because we somehow got lucked into Luca that it's gonna happen again? Like, right. oh, we're going to find somebody just as good? Oh, you, yeah, hell no. You're not, you're not, you're not find, but you're going to find a star player. Okay, find a star player, but you have a generational talent here. Okay, that's, that's not wasted. Okay, that's fine. EA, th there is there is life afterwards. He ain't going to be, he's not going to be here forever. At some point, he's going to retire and leave too. There are other players oh, yeah. that come. And I hope, we get, come. I hope we get like five but, but to your point, but, but to your point about the uh, him turning Jerry, you know this reached though when Jerry signed uh, Parcells. This ain't, oh, the building, this ain't the building arena or whatever, the kid, the but I got to go get somebody to the, help the, the, the to help the, draw draw him back in. Oh, but, that's definitely what this is. Yeah, that's yeah, what this is. It's, that's called saving face. Right. Uh, spin control. The problem is no one's buying it. I'm not. Mark Cuban's not as good as Jerry. <laughs> that's the thing. I, I will say this. I'm not Jerry probably is going to look at Mark Cuban and be like, you're not as good as me. I, 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 I started this thing and uh, <laughs> and I will and I did and I will again. Jerry owns the fucking Dallas. We haven't won a Super Bowl since '96, <laughs> and yet we're still. Up. We think they have a chance every year. Nobody's mad. The Mark Cuban needs to take some notes on how Jerry. If we want to fuck up a franchise, let, listen to Jerry. Well, let's That's get back in. It. Let's get back into something that we were about to get into before Toe Wash walked oh, in. About to get a hard on it. Oh yeah, and and that's what uh, he's upset about. Well, I, is that no? Uh, I feel like some of that, uh, that ice that Trey Trey uh, oh, yeah, yeah. ice been shooting out there is forming on the outside of the cup okay. because uh, EA, you know, he he says you get a hard on for this guy. Um, well, by because, the way, welcome. Uh, we have uh, Trey Young's PR agent here. Uh, welcome to the show. Well, yeah, we talking about ice tray. And I told him I had to get my jacket because I get cold every time I talk about it because he the ice man cometh every time he get on the court, but. Uh, I was just explaining to you that, you know, I just feel it's a bad matchup for Milwaukee because uh, it's a small lineup. Yeah. It's just too, this, the lineup is too small for him. You got John Collins flying around. He's just too athletic for Lopez and uh, and Clinton Porter's down there. The only thing I would disagree with is that the Milwaukee Bucks still had a seven, what was it, a seven point lead with like four minutes to go. Yeah, but that, when, that, you that, sit, that, when you sit Giannis down, well, then you're going to have to keep Giannis much. in there because well, you, now, you can't, but see, the thing is you can't keep him on, uh, you can't put him on Collins because he's going to get him in foul trouble. He gets in foul trouble too much. That's why he don't stay on the floor. Giannis? Yeah. He does not stay on the floor because he gets in like foul Giannis trouble. Is, okay. For a two-time MVP, there's a lot of just like. I told you, there are a lot of holes in his game. There is. He needs to learn how to play basketball better. All you have to do, the, the Miami Heat showed you, stand in front of him and take a charge. He's not going to do anything spectacular. He's working on that though. Have y'all like he try, he's trying, but it ain't like, working. He working on that, that euro step. He's, yeah, he's working on it, but he's, he's still getting fouled. He got better as the net series progressed. And what I'm worried is that in game one, like he didn't have a bad game in game one. But again, first of all, Trey Young went into another uh dimension and started just shooting, you know, he's they yeah, just too, they was too quick for him. That's what Drew Drew Holiday ain't gonna ain't gonna stay in front of Trey Young. I'm another, sorry. The, but the real problem wasn't uh Giannis last night. Or yeah, he lost it was uh, Chris Middleton. I mean the guy is offensively just what was it, six for thirty six or something like that? Yeah, he 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 he. Well, he took thirty six shots in one game. I think so. That's what I, I am. I don't know what to say about him. He took thirty shots in game one. I feel like I would take him on the Mavs. What the fuck? I feel like I would take him on the Mavs because it's just that he's so inconsistent. Because uh, because him. he's having to, he he's not a guy who should be shooting that many shots. Though. He took thirty shots in game one. Right. He should not be shooting that many shots. It's a deal. That's the thing. He should not be shooting that many shots. 
All right, so uh, Chris Middleton on that was yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was six for twenty-three. Sorry, okay. okay. I'm uh, sorry. Thirty shots is a bit much for he a person. Said, that's, that's, a, that's a lot. That's a lot for him 20, in general, though. Twenty-three shots is still a lot, and you only you only. What, how many did he make? Uh, so he was six. For, he was six. six for twenty-three. He, that's not the good. most important. The most important stat was him when he was zero for nine from three. He only gave you fifteen points. You know. So Giannis and, and Holiday gave you thirty-three and thirty-four. Right. So enough. I mean, it, they they needed one more person to help them out, and they didn't get it out of him. So when we talk about teams like you know Dallas, when I when, when I be telling you, I be sharp sticking you about that one dude that, that hoops with Luca, no, oh. then like you need his help because you're also going to get help from everybody else. If it's Bobby with four or ten or whatever, and if it's Hardaway with another one, you still need that third person, especially in the playoffs. You need that third person that's going to help you out. The, Sp- the Spurs perfected the third person. Okay. The, they the, were the Suns. The Suns are doing it right now. The Suns, the and Suns so are, so are the Heat. So are the Hawks. The Hawks, Hawks not only just got third; they got their fourth or fifth person doing no, it. Okay, so, yeah. okay, so it was a three-point game. Okay, and if you look at the numbers, look, Trey Young, of course, had forty-eight. He dominated. John Collins with twenty-three. The next highest score though was Herder with thirteen, and then Capella with twelve. So you got those well, two. He had nineteen of, rebounds though. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's something that the other dude. That plays with you need to get off. That it. plays with Luca. You need to get off do. It. He'll get give off you twelve, it. but he'll give you four. But that's what we just talked about. Yeah, a few yeah. minutes, that's what we just talked about a few minutes ago. Like the seven footers now in the NBA are starting to become extinct. No, they're not. I think they're coming back. I, 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 I had a uh, I had a dream this, about this actually listen. one day. But go ahead. Okay, I really did. Here's what here's what's happening with the, with the seven footers. The game is cyclical. It's cyclical. It's I'll, all it's I'll all a it. cycle. That's the word you're trying to say, earlier? I, 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 I don't know. I had a concussion. He might have a concussion, so he oh, couldn't yeah. get it out. What you gonna do? I was moving today. I hit my head really hard. So you can say cyclical. I can say a lot of things. So it's a, it's all it's all a big <laughs> ass cycle. Another concussion. Hold on one second. So with the help of like guys like um uh, um shit, I didn't went blank. Uh, Embiid and Giannis and the MVP this year, Joker. And certain guys like that, they're they're going. Oh, and um, and Aiton right now, balling out for the. But he's not seven footer, but he's a big. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. The the uh, DeAndre Aiton type players, like John Collins, DeAndre Aiton, those are going to be your typical centers now. You're trying to say like more athletic. Yeah, it's going to be you're going to be more athletic. But Aiton is a center. Aiton is basically Tyson today's Tyson Chandler. I'm saying, I'm just saying, like, but he's not seven foot though. Like he's like six something. He don't have to be. I'm good with that. Yeah, but that's the way most of your technically seven footers can move. It's just rare. Yeah, most of your most of your do we consider Durant a seven footer? Yeah. Okay, so I, sixteen. Yeah, but he yeah, just don't play. In, he just don't play. But I'm saying like the guys who look like John Collins and DeAndre Jordan are going to probably about to start being your typical centers now. Well, no, no, no. I, I disagree because hell, in the upcoming draft, we get we got we got one coming out from USC. Right, but um, most teams go small. Most teams when they see you bring your seven foot on the floor, they say, "Well, I'll just go small to get him out the foot." If he's not athletic. If it's athletic, we got a world of problems. I mean, so right the now big, the, only, the bigs are coming back, bro. But who's Trust me. outside of Joel Embiid? You, you only got Joker. You only got Joker in. He's he's right because here's what happens in all sports. This happens. There's a certain philosophy, and everybody shifts that way. But there's always going to be one outlier that goes the other way, and then everybody falls back. Look at the NFL. We went away from running the football, right? And all of a sudden, look at Tennessee. Tennessee decided we're going to bring it right back with oh, Derrick Henry. Power running back. It it it, it changes. There's Always, the, the game constantly changes back and forth, so you can't say things will be extinct. No, I said for right now. But, you, uh, but here's the, the word but here's extinct, the thing. Here's the thing. Done. Here's the thing. Dinosaurs aren't coming back. Here's the thing, though. The two, be- the two uh, best players in the league were Joel Embiid and uh, Joker, Joker, right? Joker, right? Where are they at right now? Home. Okay. They're the crib. That's fine, though. But th- yeah. there were times where big, if okay. I had, and both of them didn't have their number two guy. And B didn't have his number two guy because he's mental. And then Joe well, he had, he had, no, Joel and B, Joe and B should Joel and B alone because it should have beat the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, so, so Joker, your MVP, he but didn't he have his number two guy who had has an ACL. in that series. That don't give. Uh, uh, he, he still balled out. He's not, he's not, he had a tournament. This he's is in the first a, series. First of all, he won a series on a tournament. Not, I ain't. But, uh, and Shaq can tell listen, you, I ain't listen. going for no meniscus here. Don't. Gonna, but, but, but Shaq says. Yeah, I ain't. I ain't. I ain't worried about no meniscus here because he Shaq, got out there and played, and he still but, balled, but, uh, and he still gave you KP. good numbers. He's not KP who just has to be a baby. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's what I'm saying. Like he still gave yeah, you. But, he still uh, gave you numbers on a bum. On a bum, uh, he still needs he still needs help. People need help. You act like there's. I didn't say he didn't need help. That's not what I said. I'm saying he still could have won it. He still could have won that game. On he had turnovers in the game late in that game that also helped too. 
So is Trey Young going to the NBA Finals? I, I hope he does. So you just want to stick it to Maverick. You want to stick it to Luca fans or Maverick fans? Uh, it's more of it's more of the Luca fans, right? Because the delusion of Luca. Because I mean, yeah. Because uh, it's just, it just amazes me how how the Mavericks were when they were two up two zero uh, on the Clippers. It was all oh, the Mavericks said that we got the best. We got the best team. We got the best ride. We're gonna sweep the Clippers. We got a better team than the Clippers this year. Just, then they lose. Just, Hold on. Then they lose Tovash. Then they lose Tovash. Oh, and then Mark Cuban, he want to get on radio. Well, our role, our uh, Maxi Cleaver and uh, Dodo, they're very underrated. They're very underrated role players. Then when they lose, well, the role players ultimately decided the series. So we well, well as of eight minutes ago, Mark Cuban ain't got to worry about that anymore because uh, NBC5 is reporting Jason Kidd will be the next Dallas Mavericks head coach per Newey Scruggs. So Newey. welcome to te- well welcome back. He's Jason here, King guys. He's here. For the Which third, I, I should have I should have had a bottle of mass polo to switch into after uh after that. Nico and Jason Kidd running your Mavericks franchise. Whoopity freaking do. So yeah, um Should we should we just move on? I am too depressed right <laughs> <laughs> Nico, please save us. Uh what's next? Well, uh I just got a text here. Kevin Gray actually wants to join us to talk about the uh you want, about my, you want to talk about my review well we are going to get your review but he wants to talk about what just what tovash just announced so let's take